Friends, I recently uploaded my research article into ChatGPT and asked it to suggest improvements for journal publication. So at that time, it looked fine. But after four to five days, when I checked that manuscript in Turnitin, so it was showing 100% similarity. So this was the email I received from one of the PhD scholars and I was shocked. And along with that, on my recently uploaded YouTube video, which was about ChatGPT's thinking ability versus AI detection, I received many comments and emails asking about what will happen if I paste or upload my own written text into ChatGPT. So will it affect the similarity or AI score percentage of my own written text? So hello everyone, I'm Dr. Nilesh Kumar and I welcome you all to your favorite channel, my research support. So today in this video, we'll uncover the truth behind this issue and we'll discuss what really happens when we paste or upload our own written text inside the ChatGPT. And to understand understand this we'll take these two simple examples so first one is sw entire paper means self written entire paper so i have written this research paper entirely in my own words and rarely i have used some internet content but i have not used any of the ai tools and then the second example is sw piece of text self written piece of text and in this file as well i have not used any of the ai tools to write this content so initially for these two examples i have checked similarity and ai score in Turnitin. let's check that first so this is example one so similarity is 23 percent so here you can see this ai score for this document document is 0%. Similarly, for example, 2 similarity is 20% and AI score is again 0%. Now, what we will do is we'll paste or upload these two documents in this chat GPT. First, I will attach this entire research paper. So I will select this self written entire paper and along with this, I'll be using this prompt because similar types of prompts we may be using in order to get some suggestions or improve our research writing like please review the attached research paper and provide detailed constructive suggestions to enhance its technical quality, clarity and overall effectiveness for successful submission to a peer reviewed journal. Then I'll simply click enter. Now you can see this chat GPT 5 has started giving some review and recommendations on the research paper which I have attached here. So that does mean I have uploaded my self written research paper into the database of this chat GPT. Now I'll recheck the same file in Turnitin to see if I uploaded my written research text into this chat GPT's database, then will it affect the similarity or AI score of my document? So what I will do is I'll get back to the Turnitin and then I'll click on submit. Then I'll take all these options. I'll take this as no repository and submit. So here I may enter CP that means chat GPT processed file example one. And then I'll select choose from this computer SW entire paper and then I need to click on upload. So this research paper is now uploaded. So I can click on confirm and go to assignment inbox. So this is chat GPT process file example one. So it is taking some time and here you can see this. This file is also showing same similarity percentage which is 23% means uploading your research paper inside the chat GPT will not increase the similarity percentage so i can click on this percentage and here you can see this the ai score is also zero percent means neither it is affecting similarity nor ai percentage at all now let me turn toward the second example let us say if you are not uploading any of your research documents directly inside the chat gpt but you are pasting your own written text let us say i'll copy this and i'll paste that inside this chat gpt and along with that i'll use a prompt like rephrase the following text to make it more precise technically sound and academically professional while ensuring clarity and readability okay so you may use different prompts like if you want to correct the grammatical errors so you can use the prompt in that way and then i'll click on enter so here chat gpt has started suggesting or improving the text by considering the prompt i entered here that does mean i have processed this piece of text through chat gpt and now we will check whether pasting your own written text 
inside the chat GPT will affect similarity or AI score by any ways. Again, go back to your Turnitin interface, click on submit. I'll be taking all these options. This is the part of submission process itself. So I need to click on no repository and submit. Let me name this as chat GPT processed piece of text and then example to choose from this computer i'll be selecting this one and upload confirm and go to assignment box so here you can see this is the text chat gpt processed and it is also showing the same similarity percentage that does mean there won't be any change into the similarity so let's check ai score so ai score for this chat gpt process text is also showing zero percent that simply means chat gpt has neither saved the uploaded file nor the pasted text and because of that there won't be any change in similarity and ai score percentage then what was happened in the user's case we discussed in the beginning of this video so this user has processed her research paper through chat GPT and after that as this user was not having access to turn it in to check plagiarism simply this user has shared her document to friend who was studying in X university okay so what this friend has done so he has checked this research paper into the turn it in account of this X university and he got 20% similarity and then this user has shared this similarity report with her okay and then after two days when this user had checked again the similarity for this research paper then it was showing 100% so that does mean for the first time when this user had checked this research paper so at that time this research paper has saved in the repository of this X university and because of that when second time when this user had checked the similarity for the same research paper then it was showing 100% similarity so that does mean her research paper has not saved at all into the database of chat gpt it has saved into the database of any other university's repository so you can easily check that or evaluate from where exactly the similarity is coming by looking at the similarity report so this is the screenshot i have taken from one of the similarity report so here you can see this this screenshot is showing 20 percent similarity and here you will find the list of sources okay so 16 percent is coming from this source two percent is coming from this source now let us say if your document is saved in any other university then in that case it would be showing 100 percent similarity and along with that it would be showing submitted to x university okay so from this you will understand that from where exactly the similarity is coming so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you so if you have any queries you can write us through comments we will definitely try to answer all these comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so i'll see in my next video bye bye